Our first word in the vocabulary section is blizzard. Blizzard. Okay, that's a little hard to pronounce. Maybe b blizzard. B and L together. Blizzard. A blizzard is a storm with lots of snow and wind. You don't want to be in a blizzard. It's like the snow is flying at you directly. It's not just falling from the sky. It's coming at you directly from the wind. So a blizzard is a very strong storm where a lot of snow falls. So be careful. We have to be careful in a blizzard. A thunderstorm. A thunderstorm is very exciting, right? But be careful. Don't be outside in high places or next to、uh, large bodies of water or、uh, holding anything like a golf club. Okay, because a thunderstorm. A thunderstorm is a storm with lots of lightning. What is lightning? Well, you can see in the picture lightning here and here. Lightning is the really strong electrical charge that comes from the sky, and sometimes it hits the ground. And when you see lightning, you should count one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. Then you hear, right, and you hear a very loud noise, and that is thunder. And you can tell how far a storm is by counting. If you see the lightning, and then the thunder's right. Right away, you know the storm is right on top of you. But if you count one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, and then a few more, and then you hear the sound of thunder, you know the storm is far away. So interesting. Next time you see lightning, count, and then when you hear the thunder, you think, oh, it's far away. Okay. Tornado. Now a tornado. Is an interesting storm. It's very dangerous, of course. We have to be careful about tornadoes. A tornado is a storm where spinning wind, spinning, spinning means to turn around in a circle, and in this case, a tornado is spinning very fast, and it comes down from a cloud. So the tornado starts in the sky, in the cloud, and it's not just wind that comes down like this. No, it's wind that's spinning really quickly, and if it has enough force, it will. It will make a funnel and come down to the ground. We have a video. Let's take a look at it. Here is a video of the tornado. You can see the the grass is kind of moving back and forth because it's windy, and you can see the tornado. The tornado seems to be far away, but you can see it slowly turning. And this tornado is kind of far away, so it's a little difficult to see. But、uh, sometimes you can see like just the the. The top part of the tornado, you can see it beginning to form. It's like a little bowl, and it starts to grow longer and longer until the, the we call it the funnel, grows until it touches the ground. And when it touches the ground, that's a lot of force there, and it's blowing things around. It's so strong it can blow cars around. It can blow cows around. It blew Dorothy's house all the way to the land of Oz, <laughs> in the book The Wizard of Oz. Check it out. It's very. It's a very good story. It's also a good movie.、Um, but anyway, tornado is a very strong wind, and we have to be careful about tornadoes. Okay. Next we have. Hurricane. Now, hurricanes. What's worse, a tornado or a hurricane? Well, a tornado only lasts for a short time, but it can cause a lot of damage in its small path. A tornado has a small path. If you're like、uh, one kilometer or two kilometers to the side, either way, and the tornado goes between you, there's no problem. But a hurricane is huge. And a hurricane lasts for a long time, like many days. When it hits land, of course, it it、uh, it loses its power. But a hurricane can last for days. So a hurricane is worse than a tornado because it affects a larger area, and it lasts for a much longer time. So a hurricane is a very large storm that has fast winds. And lots of rain, but the fast winds are what we have to be careful of. And we've seen in the news about hurricanes, especially、uh, in the past, that have really damaged big cities. Like there's a famous hurricane, Hurricane Katrina, which really damaged New Orleans and areas around there.
There's another difference, though, between a hurricane and a tornado. Hurricanes happen over water, over the ocean or a sea. Tornadoes happen over land. Okay, so tornadoes will happen in Kansas, Colorado,、uh, areas where there isn't a lot of water, but it's just very flat land. And there's a place I think it's in Oklahoma. It's called Tornado Alley, where tornadoes every year、uh, it, there's a very good chance for a tornado to come through this area. It's called Tornado Alley, but there's no water nearby. But off the coast, right? Hurricanes form over the ocean. And then they move into land, and then they cause a lot of damage on the coastal cities. You don't have to worry about a hurricane if you're in Kansas or Colorado, in the middle of the country of of America, because hurricanes, you know, by the time they get there, they lose all their power. So they get their power over water, and they move on to land. So a couple of differences between hurricanes and tornadoes. A flood. Now, a flood is what happens. Hurricanes cause flood because there's a lot of rain coming down, and there's a lot of wind, and it pushes. Sometimes it pushes the seawater into a low area, and of course, it's raining a lot, so it dumps a lot of water onto the area as well. So, a flood, of course, is a large amount of water covering an area that is usually dry, and we can see this, of course, in many cities, unfortunately, around the world. Bangladesh has a very serious flooding problem. They get a lot of hurricanes. I believe they call them cyclones over there,、uh, and. Because Bangladesh is very low country, there's not a lot of hills or mountains in Bangladesh. It's very low、uh, near the sea level, so it pushes the seawater into the land, and also again it dumps a lot of rain, and so a lot of areas in Bangladesh are affected by flooding almost every year. And of course, many other regions of the、uh, earth as well are affected by hurricanes and flooding. It's a disaster. Okay. Next, we have hibernate. Hibernate. Do you hibernate? Sometimes I'm sure you wish you could hibernate. <laughs> That just means to sleep for a very long time. Actually, it's to sleep all winter. For some animals, to spend all winter sleeping. Of course, when we talk about hibernate, and we're talking about animals, animals only hibernate in winter. They don't hibernate in spring, summer, or fall. Only in the winter. Why? Because there's not a lot of food in the winter. Consider the bear in his cave. Bears are famous for hibernating. They go into a cave or somewhere underground and they sleep for several months. Why do they do that? Because the land is frozen. It's covered with snow. There's not much food for the bear to find, and it's also difficult for the bear, a large animal, to move around in the snow. It has to use up a lot of energy. It can't find enough food to to replace that energy. So it just says, "Forget it. I'm going to sleep," <laughs> and it goes to sleep during the winter months. And then in the spring. It wakes up and it comes out. You do not want to be near a bear in the spring that just came out of hibernation. It's very hungry. Okay, so so the bear will come out when the snow is gone and it can find food easily. Okay. Destroy. Destroy means to damage something. So that it cannot be used again. Now you can damage something a little bit, right? If you hit something and put a dent in, for example, a car, you've damaged the car, but you didn't destroy it. Destroy is when there's so much damage that the thing, for example, the car, cannot be used anymore. It cannot be used again. It doesn't work, and that's you know, if a car hits a wall at a very high speed, the car will be broken. It is destroyed. Okay, so yeah, be careful. Don't damage things, obviously. But、uh, destroy just means that to damage something so much that you can't use it again. So it's very severe damage. Okay, those are our words for this lesson. Let's move on. Lesson nine: Changes in weather. Blizzard. A storm with lots of snow and wind. 
Thunderstorm. A storm with lots of lightning and thunder. Tornado. A storm where spinning wind comes down from a cloud. Hurricane. A very large storm that has very fast winds and lots of rain. Flood. A large amount of water covering an area that is usually dry. Hibernate. For some animals to spend all winter sleeping. Destroy. To damage something so that it cannot be used again.